Taking a common household drinking straw, we're going to look at different ways that you can use it camping, for survival, or prepping. Now, I personally like the larger milkshake straws, and I got this at a local restaurant. Uh, these are your standard straws that you get, um, whether it's Walmart or wherever you're going. These, they're colored. I really like the clear, but the colored ones can be fine. They're a lot smaller, though. You can see here how much smaller they are. In fact, this straw will fit in nicely into this clear one. But to be honest, I'm going to only use these straws. I don't really like these colored straws, but they are an option if that's what you have. And the three tools you'll need are scissors, a pair of needle nose pliers, and a lighter. Now you can go with any length. I typically go for just a couple of inches. Take my scissors, cut it. Now I'm going to take the pliers and I'm going to force them down and close up on that straw, leaving a little area right here. And then I take my lighter. I'm going to heat that end up really well. Then I'm going to take it and move it over and just squeeze and crimp. That should make it airtight on this end. One thing I do is, is blow inside here just to see if any air comes out. We're going to make this a fire tender container. And I'm going to take a little Vaseline, put on this cotton ball. And I've got a video where I show how to do this actually a lot better. But just for this purpose, we're going to get the Vaseline on our fingers anyway. Go ahead and just spread it all through the cotton ball. And I'm going to take a small toothpick. Go ahead and take part of my cotton. And then just start stuffing it into the straw. I'm going to go ahead and fill this up. You're going to want to leave room, of course, to, do, to crimp your other end. Take the other end and crimp it, leaving a space on the outside. Just heat that up. Move it and crimp it. Now you have a waterproof fire starter. And this is going to keep the elements out. It's airtight. It's really small and compact. Cut the end off. And you probably don't even have to cut the end off. And then just light it. There it goes. As you can see, it's going to burn. Now you have a good, solid match. Build a small nest around this. This will easily start a fire. And it's very water resistant because of the Vaseline and the cotton ball. And of course, in camping or even in a bug out situation, having a few spices that are very portable, keeping from getting them wet or for them leaking out. Go ahead and cut your straw. Take the end, go ahead and just like we did previously. Get a good seal. You can see where those little ridges just seal it down. And again, you know, you can blow in it just to make sure it's airtight. Now we're going to take our eyedropper. Now you can take it directly out of here, but it's probably easier to put it into a little container. Um, I'm going to use this for something else, so I'm going to go ahead and take it directly out. Let's go ahead and add the oil. You want to make sure that you give it room for the air to come out. Okay, not all the way to the top, because you want to make sure that you have a little pocket uh, for your air. So I'm actually going to pour a little bit of this out. Again, I'm going to seal up the end. It's working good. You have a little bit of air uh, in case it's going to pop. It gives it a little bit of compression. But if you really needed an improvised level, you could use it. Okay, I've gone ahead and sealed up one end of a tube. And we're going to add spices or flavorings. Now, I'm using this little uh, small plastic container that bends really well. Uh, but there's a lot of other things you can use. Just mainly want to get it to where you're not spilling it everything all over the, the table and everywhere else. Now, 
Now, there are two ways that you can do this. Uh, I saw where one guy crimped it and then put a cap over it. But what I would suggest is to go ahead and seal the end now. Because you're not going to use all this garlic salt uh, with one serving. <laughs> so you'll want to save it and use it for later. But in the initial time you're on travel, while you're traveling, you're going to want to make sure that this stays watertight. Let's say we're cooking, we're ready to use it. What you want to do is, is go ahead and cut the end and you want to cut it down. Take the end that's open, take your pliers, and just bend it around. Once you get that bent, you can take the cap that you cut off and slip it right over the top. Just like that. And that way you can take the cap back off and pour ingredients if you need to. And again, you can do this in the field, you can do it before you leave, but that just gives you another option. Now here I poured some salt in one, and of course this is the garlic salt. Uh, you know, you can tell the difference, and then you can mark these with a fine sharpie. Now here we're going to put some matches in a tube. And this is the Ohio Blue Tip Matches. And I'm going to show you something. I found these the other day in Walmart. I love this. Don't tread on me. <laughs> that is my kind of company. In fact, I didn't really need matches, but I bought them just because of this. That's awesome. An American company standing up for our freedom. If you ever find some Ohio blue tip matches, just buy a box. Plus, burn, baby, burn. <laughs> it looked pretty cool, too. We're going to take our length of tube. We'll take three of these. Stuff them right down in there. Of course, you'll want to be completely away from the head of this match. All right, there we go. We have waterproof matches. I originally thought about putting waterproof matches in one of these, but then I thought, what's the point? <laughs> one thing I found with antibiotic ointment is you need to have both ends open because you're going to create an air pocket, and so you're going to need to have it open to have the air to be able to travel. Then we're going to close the ends. Seal off the ends. Now you have a single-use packet of antibiotic ointment. You can even have a little fishing kit tucked away. Here you have hook, line, and sinker. Of course, making this watertight is not what you're concerned with, but that little hook. And that protects you from getting stuck and in your pack. Then you just seal up the end. Voila. Now just as a backup, especially 22, <laughs> if you can find any, here's three rounds. We're going to also put those in a tube, and uh, this will keep any moisture from getting to these. We've sealed our end. Make sure you have enough room. Uh, this is only going to fit three rounds. I probably could have done it longer if I wanted more. Then just seal up your ends. That may not seem like a lot, but in a survival situation, that could be pretty important. Now, of course, it's unlimited what you really can do as long as you can fit it into a small uh, drinking straw. And a couple of things I didn't show were uh, like gear oil, um, you know, hand soap, hand sanitizer, small pills, even something like these little bare children's aspirin. Uh, things like that that you can just slip in. Of course, you want to be careful when putting pills or medications to make sure they're clearly marked. And, of course, all of our food-type uh, spices and preparation like that. Uh, so it just really gives you a lot of options. It keeps things waterproof and keeps them dry. And it also seals liquids and keeps them out of your pack. Just a neat little tip to be able to use uh, to keep you organized and also to keep you from carrying around a much larger item. Because, really, if you look at all of these different things in themselves, not too bad except maybe the salt. But once you put them all together, it can get really heavy. This way, everything's really nice, organized, and tidy. Guys, just taking another household item and being able to work out many different uses for it. And it's just a great way to get your mind working. Uh, and two, it saves you money. Plus, it's just a lot of fun to learn what you can do with everyday items. I want to give a shout out to Intense Angler because he has a great video showing the same thing uh, about using straws and really what gave me some of the inspiration. Uh, there are some other videos out there showing some stuff, but I think uh, John at Intense Angler it does a, a great job. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic.
And I want to thank my good buddy Trenton, who inspired this video because he can't seem to drink a drink without a good straw. So Trenton, I got a prize for you.